Hello everyone, welcome to a foreigner farming in the Philippines. Well, we've begun moving the pigs around. We can't put the boars together because they'll fight. So that one boar there has his own little area. This is that old sow of Mitch's. Uh, She's still not what you'd call a fat pig, but she's a lot more healthy than she was. She does have a boil on her uh, right hip there. Probably the irritation from laying, laying down on it. Those of you may remember, she had a lot of sores on her. But she's gained quite a bit of weight since we brought her here. Probably 50, 75 kilos. She's, you can't see her ribs anymore, really. And these girls here have been put in here. Add a little more water. They're all kind of getting acquainted. They're not used to being together with one another in pens. Yeah, they're, they're definitely getting used to each other. A little bit of fighting's been going on here. <clears throat> That's a happy pig. I kind of watch them here for a little while and make sure they all eventually calm down and start getting along. Let's see, that's a uh, that's another one of Mitch's old pigs there. Um, I think three of these three of these sows are Mitch's because no one wanted to buy them. They were just so skinny and and <laughs> close to death. But these three Durox here, and I think that sow right there is uh, our old stock. I can't remember if, if it's... Well, I can't remember right now which ones are which. But regardless... Uh, I'm going to put a little more water in this, this girl's pen here. I'll get it figured out. <laughs> we may have to move this gal here out and put her in this pen over here with this sow. Uh, it's looking like she's getting the short end of the tussling stick. Yeah, I'm gonna put some more water in there. He's happy to have some friends again. Those two there were just weaned. Two out of a litter of six or seven is all that survived. 
a little disappointing there. Let's see, I'm going to have to go all the way around to turn that water on. banana tree came down. And I would assume it's there's no way to get this one back up in the air. It's a shame because those are the kind of bananas that I like. I wonder when this happened. Oh, it's cocked eye if that can be saved or not. I have no idea. She's getting around a lot better. No longer have to help her to stand up anyway. That gal there, we're going to have to move, I think. She's not looking real healthy at the moment. She's standing there in a corner by herself, panting. That's the singing cell there. She's the one that's in a little bit of distress. She was hanging out over in this corner. She was in this pen by herself. No, that's the one we want to move. Bouncing. She was uh, she was in this pen by herself. So as these other sows were brought in. Uh, she wanted to, to defend her turf. So. And let's see, which sow is it? I think that one right there is in heat. That's the famous little red pig there. And I think she's in heat. You know what? Move her over there also. We'll thin these girls out a little bit. That sow doesn't want to be in there, so we'll just let her move. See if we can get this one to the bore. 
she's the troublemaker because she's in heat. Alright, well, we've got those three in there. And they're getting along a lot better. Uh, and these guys here are actually getting along good now as well. This is the troublemaker here because she's in heat. And, and she's also very hard-headed. She won't go in the pen with the boar. We've been trying for a while. Uh, she just won't do it. So she may not absolutely be ready, but she's close. Hopefully that boar won't tear this pen down trying to get to her. Because she is close, he can tell. And the problem is that she's not hungry right now, she won't follow the feed bucket. I'm having Danielle clean out these, this feeder. I started uh, supplementing these goats a little bit with just some pig food. Uh, they're not growing like they should be, they're kind of stunted. Probably should have been grain feeding them all the time, but uh, budgetary concerns got it to where they were just getting moringa grass that was around. The same thing that they would be eating if they were uh, cruising but decided to supplement them a little bit. We've got one sow left that's over there that's pregnant. All these girls here are not pregnant. That's why we moved them over here. So there's one sow uh, that's pregnant. There's still a sow. I've got to go see what's left over here. All right, well, we've got everybody moved. Got it down to four sows in this pen here. And we got three over here. Now, when this one gets through with her date with the boar, I'm just going to leave her in there for a day or two until she gets settled back down. Um, probably move her into this one so there'd be an even number of pigs in each pen. Kind of depends. She's aggressive. And these are these sows in here or not so depends on her mood and temperament when she's away from the boar might have to put her back in here there's still two sows left over there there's uh, one well there's three sows actually the one up there that has the dozen piglets and there's one that still has two piglets left and there's a sow that's pretty close to farrowing so there's three over there um, and there's eight here, so we've got 11. So it looks like we got one more to sell. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.